Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Tractor Remix Dex mapping for Touch OSC. First of all, we can either browse for a set or browse for individual samples. If you wanted to browse for individual samples, um, you can use the up down browse buttons here. And basically to load the sample, hold down load sample and press an empty cell. You'll notice there that the cell is now filled, the LED now is filled in dark grey to show that the sample's loaded. And it's in light grey when it's playing. You'll notice on the screen as well that the, uh, the browser moves automatically down to the next sample. This means that you can load samples quickly and easily, one after the other, into each of these slots here. When the sample's queued, you may have noticed the, the light was brighter then. So it goes lighter when it's about to play, and then when it plays, it's like a light grey colour. We can mute the slot, or if we press shift and mute, that will stop the slot from playing. So we can change the attributes here for the, uh, for the sample. So sample we're currently playing is this one let's just stop that we can turn the loop off or on or we can change it from um, gate mode and latch mode here as well so trig hold indicates that it's it's latch mode turn that off and it turns into a gate mode if you're not sure about these just look up in the uh, in the tractor manual so I'll turn those back on again so that's how to load individual samples. I'm doing it here from the remix sets from the individual samples, but obviously you can load from your own sample collection or you can load from um, collections you've got from sample CDs, that kind of thing. We can also load whole sets as well. So if we hold shift and the browse buttons, you can browse through the tree. So we'll have a look at the remix sets here. And uh, this is probably my favorite We'll load this one. And basically all you do is just press the load set button. Now it's showing that deck is locked. This is a safety feature for Tractor so that you don't um, obviously load things while you're still playing things at the same time. So we just stop the deck pressing the play button there. Load set and that loads again. And we can play around with these as we did before. and we can, we can mute and we can stop. So that's all this pretty much explained. The rest is pretty straightforward. Sync does what you expect it to do. Um, quantize, you can change on the remix decks. Uh, the quantize will change when the sample actually comes in. So if you set it to four beats, if you press the button, the sample will come in on the bar, so, so every four beats. Um, and you can change that to whatever quantize level you like. Um, and you can turn it off completely as well. So I like it on the bar. So we set that to four beats, so we can turn that on. Delete uh, will allow you to delete individual samples. So hold down delete and press any of the samples that you want to delete. Shift and delete will unload the entire set. So if we stop the deck first, that unloads and uh, we'll just load that back in again. Again you can flick through the pages, this only has uh, 16 sample slots, sample cells filled, sorry. Uh, capture is a pretty powerful feature in the Remix decks and um, it's kind of what it's all about really. Um, you need to choose a capture source and that's shown on the screen in Tractor as Deck A deck B or loop recorder, you'll notice here that I can change the source by holding down shift and pressing the capture and source button. So that defaults to deck A and we're going to leave it there. Um, you'll notice as well on deck A that you've got your loop bracket set to uh, four beats. Your remix deck will capture um, anything for the duration of time that's within your, um, your loop markers, in this case in deck A. We can use the plus minus buttons here 
to change the amount that we actually want to record. You don't actually have to have the sample, the, the deck looping. Uh, so deck A doesn't need to be in loop mode uh, to capture it. You basically just press the capture key and it'll capture whatever length you've specified there into um, the slot in the remix deck. And to capture, hold down capture and you press one of the, uh, one of the empty cells or a full cell and it'll overwrite whatever's in there. Reverse, it's pretty straightforward really. You hold down reverse, hold down the sample cell and it plays the sample in reverse. Another feature here is you've got individual control of um, sample slots for the key lock effects, monitor and punch commands. Um, key lock obviously if you, you can turn that on or off here by just pressing shift and the pad. Uh, FX is here and here we've got monitor and punch. The effects one is good because it means you can just add effects to one slot. Uh, you don't necessarily have to add effects to the whole remix deck, which is nice if you want, say, delay on a, on a hi-hat part or something like that, and you only want it on the slot that's actually playing. Um, punch, monitor, key lock should all be pretty obvious. If they're not, just check the manual. So the last thing here is the loop mode. Again, that's pretty straightforward. Um, you set your you set your timing with these, and you press loop to turn it on and off. I've added the flux mode button as well. Uh, if you don't know what this is, um, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, it means that whatever you've got looping at the time, say if it's like a one beat loop, um, your remix deck will still be playing in the background. So when you turn the loop off, uh, the track will still be playing where it was meant to be playing. If the flux mode is off, then the track picks up after the loop itself. Um, if that doesn't make sense, check the manual. Uh, it explains it pretty well in the tractor manual. And you've just got your basic Q button there as well. The only thing I haven't mentioned is when you're browsing up and down through trees, you can open the folder with the plus minus button here or collapse it again. The very last one is the save button. Um, so if you've created a remix set yourself or if you've made any changes to one of the existing ones, you just need to press shift and save. Here it's prompting me that, uh, that it already exists. So whether I want to rewrite or, or overwrite it, I'll just cancel that. I've used shift and save so that you don't press the save button accidentally. And You'll notice here we can switch between deck C and deck D as well. Okay, that's it. Have fun. Uh, I'll catch you next time.